this is Val Destot here with Mrs. Val Destot. She's still not here fully. So anyway. No coffee yet. No coffee yet. We're going to try a different format for those that just want to know how our specific market is in a particular day by showing every offer we get, whether it's an accept or reject. But if it's an accept, we'll show you what you know, uh, type of offer it is, how much it is, and whatnot, and what the distance is. We will pause for the driving aspect this time, and at that point, uh, only thing we'll record is going to the restaurant, pausing, and drop off. We'll record the drop off location, and so that we can see what the payout will be. So we'll just see how it goes here, folks, and we'll go from there. So. I'm going to go and start this uh, new format right now. I'm going to pause it until we get an offer. Okay, just did the first drop off, folks. And she is texting the customer saying thank you. It's always a good thing to do that. And it says leave it door, but since they had two doors, uh, we handed it to the customer, so I'm bypassing that. Mm -hmm. All right, so, and of course, it is exactly five dollars no additional yeah. tip or anything like that which we kind of expected but just to show you so that's pretty much it now we're just waiting for another order we'll put you on pause and be right back okay all right we're back folks with another order oh and it looks like it's a 4.3 for eight uh-huh for champies is it worth doing in your opinion it is going up off of East Dallas Road, four point three miles for eight dollars. Four point three. That's like it's $8. pretty much break even. But yeah. how? But how close is it? Where is it going? Close to those apartments that we go to up there. Wait, that's something we normally do. I say take I it. Take it. If it's not, I try to take it, but it's it was already re reassigned. Oh, okay. Well. well this we're in this area that it's hit and miss for our signal. Okay. So I tried to take it and... This is what we I got. The red screen of yeah. death. Where something went wrong. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wow. It, it, it put us right back to... That screen. That screen right there. Okay. That that's, bottom. That's not good. Okay, so yeah. anyway... Hopefully we'll get back into a better signal range and we can just go from there. Sign me in. <laughs> so anyway, folks, uh, a little technical difficulties out of our control. So we did say our area sucks for wireless signals. Uh, you know, it's just our location and there's nothing we can do about it. So we'll, uh, be right back with a different order, hopefully. If I can get signed in. Oh, you still can't get signed in? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's a door crash. I don't know. Well, tell you what. Let's go over here to DoorDash Down. Okay. Let's see. Is DoorDash Down? It says no problems no at DoorDash. Problems. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if I never can get signed up again. Uh-huh. No. Still no. Let's see, sign in. That was weird. Yeah, timed you out. Yeah, you had to literally re-sign in I with your username and password. And go off pause and everything. Wow. That was odd. Yeah, we've never had that yeah. happen before. So anyway, folks, we'll uh, be right back with hopefully another order. <laughs> All right, we have a double stacked order for Panera Chili's for 2.4 miles. I have a feeling one's going to be a $4 order and one's going to be a $3 order. I'm not 100% sure if this is something we want to do, but because it is so freaking slow, this is a decision call, folks. I mean, it's 2.4 miles and I don't like taking $3 offers from anyone, especially since it's a stacked order. So I'm going to practice what I preach. And I'm going to decline. Hey, you, you're right on time. 
I was just talking. She went to go get her free Panera coffee. Look at this order. I was just talking with the audience. Double order for seven dollars. So you know, one's a four and one's a three. Yeah. These are two lowball offers, and we're here. But what do you think? No. I say no. No. I don't care how slow it is. No. I say no. I'm declining. So it's a decline, folks. Order is too small because it's literally a four and a three. It, it's just not worth it. I don't care if it's 2.4 miles. I'm not doing it. They can tip two bucks a piece minimum. Yeah. Can you open my straw for me? Yes, I can open the straw for you. So anyway, folks, we'll be hopefully be back with a better order. All right, folks, we got another one. Oh, this is going to be one of these days. Okay, so, hun, you can talk and do the color commentary. 4.5 miles for $6 from Shangri-La. I wouldn't mind eating Shangri-La, but not taking this one. Well, I don't know. It's past Dodds Avenue. Yeah, it's a lot of miles. You no, know, no. I mean, it's no. on West Side Drive at the apartments over there. Yeah, no, no. Uh, no. No, here, let's just... Hit the decline. Here, how about if I do that? Okay, there, there you go. go. <laughs> so, another order that is not really worth it mileage-wise because we'd have to come back. So, that we're talking like over almost 9 miles. No, yeah. wait, 4.8? So, almost 10 miles, yeah. 9.6 miles round trip for 6 bucks. Mm. We're in it to make money, folks. We're not in it to lose money. As I said before in a previous video, we treat it like a business. This is our car, our mileage, our gas. We're not a freaking charity. So if these people can't tip accordingly, it's not worth it. So hopefully we will come back with a better offer. Maybe. Maybe. This is DoorDash we're talking about. Yeah. All right, folks. Be right back. Okay, we got another order. Oh, my God. 3.3 miles for $3 for Panera Bread. And we are like right here. Don't hit my big C key. Oops, I accidentally hit it. 3.3 it... miles for $3. <laughs> wow. Can I reject? Yeah, it's been, we're only getting offers maybe once every five minutes. It is that slow, apparently. No peak pay. Nope, of course not. Why would there be? There's probably tons of dashers and not enough people. I'm gonna go back to my coloring book now. I know. All right, folks, hopefully the next order will be better. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, it only took about a minute this time to get another order. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is this the same one? It's a it's point it's a point mile than more than the other. But oh, the same price. Wow, this is the Dodds Avenue location. Yeah. Oh, but this is Bantam. Bantam. All right, look at this one folks. Three point four for three. <laughs> hey, we're racking up on the threes. Yeah. People don't believe us. No. People don't believe us. This is why we do it. To show them. Oh, look, 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 we have a UDM coming out. Yeah, that was from um, last night. He does it in, um, yeah. he shortens his long videos down to the main points and releases the main points the day after. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway. All right, folks. Um, we're starting to see a trend here. So, we're going to uh, be right back, hopefully, with a better order than just these $3 crap orders. So, um, I'm we'll going see. back to my coloring. Okay, see you in a bit, hopefully. Okay, let's see. 30 seconds after we oh, got it. Oh, oh, what, what's oh, this one? Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up. All right, color commentary. What is it? 0.9 for five bucks. Okay, wow. So, it only took us what 15 plus minutes to get oh. this offer. Subtotal, 32 bucks. So they're cheap asses. They yes. tip $2 for a thirty-two seventy-five subtotal. And this Got is Shangri-La. There's two rolls, which is going to be a little wait. It's 12.23 right now. Pickup time is 12.32. Uh, unless they're slow, that ain't happening. Remember what happened last night? Yeah. The very last order on our last video for our ride along last night it took literally 20 plus minutes to get that order we gotta wait yeah but the very first two orders last night from them were fast yeah so they just must have been really 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 busy and we are right around the corner from them yeah. so i get to hit slide right now mm -hmm. we gotta wait <laughs> oh 
Well, no, period. Spicy crab meat roll, okay. teriyaki chicken combo, mm -hmm. which does not come with a drink. Mm -hmm. California roll, hot and sour soup. Mm -hmm. Crab rangoon. Mm -hmm. Rangoon. Rangoon. <laughs> crab rangoon. There. Okay. Go. Okay, we're already here, folks. It was literally right around the corner, but we have a wait, and there's cars already here, so let's take a look inside. Are there people in there? Uh, yes, there's a couple of people in there, but one is leaving. And these cars are probably here for the coffee cafe. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, folks, we'll be back. Okay, folks, I've had an epiphany with this particular order because... We haven't had an order from this person in a while because we keep rejecting it from her because she always had $3 no tips offers. We actually had a bad experience with this person. With it, uh, Her last order that we took was a church's order where she was basically having a bad attitude when we told her that it was going to be late and it was out of our, uh, you know, it was, it was, we couldn't do anything about it because the church's uh, drive through line was really a long line. She didn't care. And she also didn't tip anything extra for an extra 15 minute wait at churches. So we put her on our ban list. And apparently this $5 offer that we just got, once we accepted it, the name kind of was familiar to me. But it confused me because it was $5 and she usually doesn't tip anything. So I'm going to guarantee you that once we deliver it and hit delivered, the pay will be a DoorDash adjusted pay of $5 for the base with a zero tip. If this is the same person, which I think it is. So let's see what happens and uh, we'll give you the details afterwards. All right. Okay, folks, just delivered it. I may have been wrong. Remember, I did say it was a while back. It was not the same apartment I would normally deliver to, but it's in the same building. But the name sounded familiar. So, what we're gonna do is, because we're in a bad signal area, she's texting, and once the uh, signal goes through, we will show you what it is. If it's a three plus a two, three dollar base, two dollar tip, or if it was a DoorDash adjusted to five base pay. So, Get out of this area before I, can I know. Use I know. Complete delivery. I know. Yeah, we are literally on a spinning wheel. I have no signal. signal. Yeah, so. this area sucks. This is what we have to go through every day, and we're in the middle of downtown, and we don't really have very many sky rise. I mean, like uh, skyscrapers or you know big buildings. It's just this area just sucks. I have an E now. <laughs> oh. Four G. Oh boy, and we haven't even moved from this spot at the red light. Okay, so it was a three plus two. Okay, so I was wrong, but I did say when I delivered it, it's not the same apartment I typically would have delivered to, but it was still a, almost a $40 order, and it was a $2 tip. Yeah. So it's not the greatest, but at least they tipped five and it hit Customer our- Customer said thank you. So. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> What's that say, hun? Um, four dollars. Sorry, we're bouncing. Three point two five miles McDonald's, and this is the McDonald's over on by the hospital, hospital. on Third yeah. Street. We do not go there at twelve forty-five. Yeah, uh, it, it gets really busy. Not for that price. Do not want to go to the store. Yeah, that's what we put down for this our McDonald's. Reason. They have it wrapped around the building. Yeah, for the drive-through line. Yeah. Shangri-La. Again. We took it because it was so close. Oh. Yeah. Here, okay, well, we'll wait. Hold on. We're at a red light now, so you won't be bouncy. There you go. 6.6 .6 miles, 750. Going and all the way up there, huh? Past Red Bank. Yeah. Uh, red Bank. That's pretty far up there. Yeah. That's a no. Yeah. I can put my seatbelt back on. Yeah. All right, so we actually are keeping them on while we're getting the volume orders now. Let's it looks wait a like, minutes. yeah. Let's wait a oh, we're at ten dollars. Even we've been on since eleven thirty. Thirty. Eleven thirty. It's now twelve forty-six. Three point six miles. 
550. Wow. This is going to Memorial Hospital. Oh, all the way back there? Past Dodds Avenue. Oh, geez. It's in our bowl, but dang. So how much is it? 550? 550. So three and three, three that's 7.2 miles for 550. And it's at that hospital. I say no. Yeah. I say no. Yeah. Like I said in my earlier video, I would rather not get paid than 4. take this. 4.1 miles. Let's see if I can. There you go. 4.14. $4. $4. $4. Sitar Indian cuisine. Yep. Dodds Avenue. For all you people in the big cities, like I've said in my earlier videos, be happy you have higher volumes to cherry pick from and be happy that you are in a higher cost of living area. Because this is, I hate to say it, this is bull. It really is. To get these types of orders continually over and over and over and over. We haven't gotten an order above eight dollars but anything between six and eight was like going further distances right today yeah. and anything under six were the cheap orders that were stacked or just like single three four dollar orders i mean this is what we're dealing with folks hopefully you guys aren't dealing with it in your area i'm hoping because i wouldn't want to wish this on my worst enemy not alone fellow dashers this is stupid this is really, DoorDash needs to step up and not leave it at a zero tip like Grubhub from what I heard from uh, John McCallion. They changed it in California to put it to a zero tip as default. That's really retarded too. But these gig apps do it because they only care about their service fees. They don't care about tips, they only care about the service fees. So if they don't care about anything else but their service fees we don't get tips really kind of highlighted in their app because then it'll like bring the overall cost up and then when the customer sees that cost it's like a shock saying oh my god my my twenty dollar order is now thirty two dollars what the hell so they lower the tip so anyway folks uh we're still waiting for another order because all we got were crap orders so we will uh, come back when we hopefully get another one okay folks we're back and we finally got one that's worth it what's it say point uh, four for seven bucks okay we are going to the wild wings okay well let's go except I'm trying there Okay. Oh, and can you go back to the email list? Or not the email yeah. list, but the uh, text message list? Okay, let's okay, count so here. Okay, I'm so. I'm actually going to do it on the screen. Okay. So I'm going to just show you guys. Okay, so wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're at, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 offers. And this is only what our third offer we're taking? Yeah. This right here is when it messed up earlier when we had no signal yeah so 14 total offers in an hour and 20 minutes sorry everything is blurry on the screen yeah but I apologize listen to this folks 14 offers in an hour and 20 minutes offers not acceptances uh, offers yeah. this one we just took is a subtotal of $43 these people tipped four dollars so it's less than ten percent yeah they we're just get in yeah. large potato wedges oh we need to put the seatbelt on okay. potato that. wedges mm -hmm. um onion rings mm -hmm. and 15 25 buffalo wings boneless buffalo wings when you can't even tip 10 percent folks there's something majorly wrong with the system that's going on here at least in the united states because unlike European countries, Asian countries, and, and whatnot, right? Tipping is not a taboo thing to do. In those countries, they don't. it's been brought up culturally to not tip. Some people, like in the Middle East, take offense to taking a tip. Hmm. Okay. They would like to know if you can get extra ranch, please. The, uh, that is going to cost more, which we cannot do.
it would have to go through the app. They want more ranch for free. We will just say we will ask, but I already know what the restaurant will say. Folks, so four dollar tip on an over forty dollar order, <clears throat> and they want extra ranch. Hmm. We'll find out. We'll find out. See you in a little bit. Okay, so he is still inside picking up the wing order from the last one, and this one just now came in. Four point one miles for four dollars. So this one is a no go. However. I'm just going to say this is too far. This one, the one that he's picking up now, is actually going right behind us. The one that where he wanted extra ranch sauce. They could actually just take a four minute walk to come down here and get this order and get his sauce. I did a look up for it, for the address, and it's kind of actually funny, if I say so myself. This order was a pickup at 12.59 time, and it's already 1.10. We'll still see how much longer it's going to take for this pickup. And it's not very busy in there, so I don't think they actually started this order until he actually got here. I see two cars here, and not very many people are walking out. So... We'll see how much longer it takes. All right, folks, I finally got the order. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, unfortunately, was very busy. They had like a 100 wing order before hours. So it took them a little extra time. She's gonna be texting. I'm not gonna go anywhere until you're ready. So, yeah, here's the deal. For anyone that didn't know, they give a ranch cup allotment per wing order. So if it's a six piece, they get one ranch. If it's like 12, they get two and 20, they get three or four or something like that. That's what they're trying to explain because this customer like had an exorbitant amount of ranch. I'm talking a crap ton already and he wanted more. So well, for one, for 15 on here, it mm -hmm. says for, for, for his 15 ranch, 15, 15 wings, wings four, he ranch. Had four ranch and his 10 rings here, he had two. Okay. But they wanted more for free. It's 60 cents per cup for anything after the standard allotment. So, there you go, folks. Um, that's how it works. So we are on our way. I'm gonna make a right turn here. Actually, I can't. It's a road closed. Are you freaking kidding me? You have to make a U-turn. Oh my God. I'm gonna just basically do this so that the cars can go. I hate this town. There's so much crap going on. It's amazing with the construction. It's just truly amazing. The amount of construction we have in this town at the moment. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And I'm gonna just make, a, I'm gonna go on a red, folks. I, I don't care. This is, you can't make a right turn here. You can't make a U-turn here. You gotta go across the freaking bridge just so that you can make a turn. You can go that way. Yeah. I mean, good grief, people. This, anyway. So, um, yeah, so the ranch person, they got two extra ranches for free, which should have cost $1.12, but they like me in there, and they said to tell them the only reason we gave you the extra ranch is because we like you. This is the thing, folks. I said in another video, be nice to the restaurant staff. Get to know them by their first names. Talk with them. They're people. If you treat them like a person, they will bend over backwards for you in certain situations. 
you know, you might get an order before the next person or whatnot. Now, you, who knows? Uh, where am I going? I'll just keep going to the next street. Okay, up there. Is it the apartment? Yeah. Oh, okay. But well, he said he won't come out. Okay, good. Let them know, which you already did. All right, folks. So I'm going to put a pause on this until we actually get the uh, order paid and delivered. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, it is delivered, folks. And before I move, let's take a look at the payout. I'm pretty sure it's only going to be what it is. All right, yep. $4 tip, folks. Same thing. So at least it's a $7 payout. Oh, another order. It's just wings. All right, for. 3.3, I guess that's our standard MO. Why do you always have I this? just do. 3.3 for six, six miles. There you go. So I guess that's one we're gonna have to do, huh? Okay. It is going to Park Ridge. Okay, th that's easy. I I'd rather go to Park Ridge and Memorial any day of the week because of their ER. They have to come out and get it. Yeah. That's fine. And subtotal is $10. Wing combo. Yeah, Park, we have three major hospitals in our area downtown, Erlanger, Park Ridge, and Memorial. Leave at emergency room entrance. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's COVID restrictions. Yeah, some, some, some people will say bring it up to wherever and then I have to contact them and tell them otherwise, but yeah. All right, well, I will get the order, folks. We'll be right back. Okay, order is picked up, folks, and we are headed that way. So we'll give you an update on the pay total and whatnot once it's delivered. All right, just left it at the hospital's front nurse COVID checkpoint station. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, we're about to text her that, and then we will show you the payout. Okay, go ahead. Okay. No, we are oh, done. Oh, we're done? We oh. are done. They did not extend us. They didn't extend us. So, it says one hour. That's bull. It's two hours, and it's only $23. We started at 11.30, and it's one thirty-two. So, yeah. We're talking... 11.50 mm. an hour. It is totally gray in our Yeah, area. here, here, let's see this. This here, I'll show. Okay. is how terrible it is right don't now. Don't move yet. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see because it's so, here, hold on, there. This is our zones. This right here is our zone. All the way down there, 25 miles long. Yeah. All gray. Do you see? <clears throat> Yeah, terrible, terrible. This is how slow it is right now. $23, okay, now let's do a recap total. Okay, go to our pay screen. I'm yeah, I know, I know, I'm gonna stop oh, right here. Good. Yeah, okay. Actually, I gotta go. Pull into the, Pull into the parking lot. lot right there, okay. Let's see, because I had to get away from the emergency room, so. I'm yeah. going to go in right here so that we can give you the tally so we can end this video. Okay, so for the order that we just did, that was Just Wings, mm -hmm. okay. so that you can see because it ended, Just Wings, right here. $6 order. $6 order, customer tip, $3. Yeah. Okay, so for today, it's a little sideways. Four deliveries in two hours. Four, wow. So we're talking eleven fifty an hour because of the terrible offers and the low volume. <laughs> oh, it's all faded. Yeah, Sorry. It's fine. Okay, so okay. I want you to go to the uh, text offer screen. You know, when we get the text messages, we want to do a final tally for them. Okay, so we're gonna count. Okay, pull okay, it down. Okay, so I can okay sure. It. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's start. Okay, so count. One, two, three, four, five, five, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen offers, and we only took four. 
17 and we only took four and that's 17 total offers in two hours no in bigger markets they would have 17 offers in like less than five minutes don't you hate it when phone calls happen and it cuts us off so yeah. anyway so pretty much yeah there's that it was a terrible day if you guys didn't believe it now you've seen it with your own eyes how bad it is in a smaller market right now and it's probably going to be bad until tax refunds or mm -hmm. stimulus whichever comes first yeah because it's the january february slowdown that's what we said in the last video so there's nothing we can do except just ride this slow wave or multi-app or do something else that's pretty much it so folks i think that's it we're going to end it here right there's nothing else unless and we can't even go on to a different like uh, nope. schedule because it's all gray. It's all gray. So we can't do anything. We're literally done. Stick a fork in us. So our next one is 5:30 to 7:30. Just leave it on that screen. If we do get a pink uh, map, we'll try to do another one. All right, folks, take care, and we'll talk to you all next time. Bye.